This is question 40 on chemistry from the 2018 NSA. So we're told that an element X has atomic number 5, and we're given its mass spectrum of the mass to charge ratios against percentage abundance. And so which of these options best describe element X? So we need the period, the group, and the relative atomic mass. So before we worry about the mass spectrum, we should be able to work out the period and the group that this element X is in. And how to do this? Well, we're told that it has atomic number five. And what we know about atomic numbers? Well, they increase sequentially across the periodic table. So if we can visualize the periodic table, we don't have to remember every detail about it, but we should know its general shape. We know that if we fill in the first five elements, we'll be able to see whereabouts an X is. So let's do this. We have the numbers one to five, which we know are the atomic numbers, just the number of protons and the number of electrons. So we know our element X must be here. And so what group and period is this? Well, it's the second row down. So it must be period two. And what about the group? Well, we have one, two, 10 transition metals, then one here. So it's 13 columns along. So it must be group 13. So finally, what about the relative atomic mass? Well, is it 10.2 or is it 10.8? We shouldn't need to look at this diagram in too much detail to be able to work that out. So what's meant by the relative atomic mass? It's the average weighted mass of all the isotopes. So what does this spectrum show us? Well, we have a 10 isotope and an 11 isotope, and the 11 isotope is more abundant. So what, what does that mean for the relative atomic mass? Well, if it's the average weighted mass, then it's going to be weighted towards the 11 isotope because we have more of it. So which one is it going to be? It's going to be 10.8 because that's closer to 11 than it is to 10. So this is our final answer describing element X, which corresponds to answer D on the question paper.